Hello viewers, good afternoon. Welcome to another episode of Kick Back to the Show. And today with me in studio I have a guest. Her name is Emily. Emily, she's going to tell us what she has for us today. Her name is Emily. Thank you. So, can you tell us who is Emily? My name is Emily Nyango. I'm a fourth year student at Desta University and uh, found out in Revolution Community Based Organization in Korokosha. Team Revolution is kind of focus more on women, uh, economic empowerment of women, and cultural values of women. So those are some of the agendas that we are trying to push as Team Revolution. Because uh, uh, personally, I had a challenge uh, when I was growing up as a, as a young girl in our household. So uh, Team Revolution, as the name says, it's basically no judgment. So this is to air. We take everyone in because what we are trying to bring out is the things that people don't talk about, the issues that people don't talk about uh, on gender-based violence. We have issues of gender-based violence every day in a normal settlement. Let me not only say in a normal yeah. settlement. We have issues of gender-based violence almost everywhere. But in the informal settlement, it was worse because of, so they are not reported one, and then it, to them, it was normalized, like it's normal. Yeah. And uh, there's no one to speak for them. There's no one to speak for them. Yeah. And then there's issue of people are just, even younger, different younger are, are just road, you see, they are, they are just, they have full negative energy. You see, they are just tough for nothing. So those are some of the things that we worked in during the training. It is not because they were <coughs> too tough, but the environment that they lead on make them tough automatically, you see. So this is where you 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 help them through counseling, you see, through programs for them to to even find a way to release that negative energy, you see. So when they talk, you see, when someone tells you their story, mm -hmm. when they say this story several times, it's, it's, it's a way to heal. And then it's a way to help someone else to tell their stories. So when these stories are being told every time, people get to take action. People, people get to know that gender-based violence is not normal. Yeah. When someone beats me, I need to report. Yeah. When someone violates my right, mm -hmm. I need to go here. I can report this, I can report this. So these are some of the things that they didn't know where to start from, you see. So where someone will do my question. What action again do you take as a team revolution? Do you only take them to the hospital, then the story dies there, or what do you take, what action and next do you take? Because if that one happens, then these people can still take advantage of these young girls. Mm -hmm. and yeah, so what else do you do? So uh, in, that's where we have human rights counseling. Right. Yeah, we work with uh, different women's rights and human rights. For example, we've worked with uh, social justice in Kamazara, social justice in um, Korobocha. So there's a 